Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster, and in this video I was going to talk about the process for using the Unreal Python API to import assets into Unreal, but it's so simple I'm just going to show you the code and then we'll talk about something that's a little more interesting, which is the next logical thing you might want to do after importing your assets, which is setting them up. This is the second video of the series. The first one covers exporting assets via the Unreal Python API. Both this video and all the other videos in the series will be hosted on YouTube, as well as on my Epic Developer Community page. And uh, the code snippets will be available here, so feel free to grab them if you like. All right, so the class that's gonna be doing most of our work here is Asset Tools. And there's a peculiarity about Asset Tools, which is that it can only be created by this other class, Asset Tools Helpers. This is just one of those things you gotta memorize. Asset Tools Helpers only has one method on it, which is get asset tools. So we take a look at the code. That's basically what's going on right here. I'm creating an asset tools object from the asset tools helpers class and then the get asset tools method. So once I've got my asset tools, there are a couple of options here for importing assets. There's import asset tasks, which is going to require an array of import tasks. So we take a look at what import tasks are here in a moment. And then there's import assets automated. And that's going to take this other thing here, which is an automated asset import data. Okay, what are those? The asset import task and the automated asset import data are essentially the same. We don't have an argument here for automated on the automated asset import data. So we're gonna go ahead and use that because that's what I wanna do. We need to supply the destination path and the file names. So the destination path is where in Unreal we're gonna be storing the stuff and that's gonna be game oriented or project oriented. And then the file names, those are gonna be just Windows paths. So there's this other thing here, which is the factory and the factory can be potentially important. It's kind of like an exporter in the export process. Here's the high level object. And in the same way that you've got to associate the export task with the exporter, you have to associate the import task with the factory. So you can see the, the parent object factory will have this asset import task property. So here's an example, we've got a texture factory. If you want to set any of the values to be something other than the defaults, that's what you would use a factory for. You can see we've got an FBX factory. So there are factories for all the different kinds of things that you might want to create or import. Okay, so we're not going to do any of that because we don't have to. All we need to do is supply the place we're going to save it and a list of file names. You don't even have to do this one at a time. You could just dump an array of strings. So it's pretty awesome. These are my file names. You would probably not want to hard code those. There's about a thousand ways that would be smarter for generating those paths. And I bet you can figure it out. But here's our asset tools object. We're going to create an automated asset import data object, and then we're going to feed it the destination path. Again, that needs to be game oriented. And then the file names, that's going to be my array. And then all I have to do is using our asset tools object, we're going to call the import assets automated method, and then we're going to feed it our asset import data. And it'll go ahead and do everything that we want. So let's hop over to Unreal. This is the directory we're going to be importing our assets into. Go ahead and just reload it. Get some feedback here. And here are the new assets. So you could save these if you wanted to. Editor, asset, library, I think. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. So that's all you got to do to import assets into Unreal. Tell it what you want to import and where you want to import it to. In the next video, I'm going to cover the process for creating a material instance that inherits from this material parent uses these textures and is assigned to this asset, and we'll do it all using the Unreal Python API.